All right, so in this video, we are um, reducing, or excuse me, simplifying uh, these terms in simplest radical form. And the way we do that is essentially always going to be the same here. We look at the numbers that we're taking the root of and try to break it down into factors. And out of those factors, find perfect square factors that we can take the square root of. So for example, 2 is prime, so it can't be touched. And in fact, when you have a problem like this and you're adding, in order to add these two terms, you would need both of them to be to, to involve the square root of 2, which tells us that when we want to factor out 50, we want to factor it out using 2, right? Because we're going to need to be able to add these two. If you look at all the answers, they have radical 2 here and here. Over here, radical 52 and, and 52, they're trying to see if you'll add radical 50 and radical 2, but that's like adding x's and y's. You can't do that, right? Radical 50 and radical 2, um, you can't just simply add them. If you think about simpler numbers like radical 4 plus radical 16, well, that's, that's not equal to radical 20. It doesn't work like that, right? Square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 16 is 4. It should be equal to 6, not the square root of 20. So here, um, that, that tells us that 1 and 2 are gone. We need to be able to add like terms here. So we need to be able to get the square root of 50 uh, and rewrite it into um, some type of product that, that involves the square root of 2. So I'm going to factor it out into 2 times 25. And what that does is it allows me to rethink this into 6 times radical 2 times radical 25. And this is radical 50, radical 2 times radical 5, right? It goes back to this idea if you multiply two square roots, square root of a times the square root of b, that's the same thing as the square root of a times b. So that means the square root of a could be thought of as square root of 2 times the square root of 25 is the same thing as the square root of 2 times 25 or 50. So here what, what this allows us to do is rewrite this in simpler form. The square root of 25 is 5, so we have 6 times the square root of 2 times 5. And reorder this, we get 30 times the square root of 2, or just 30 times 30 root radical 2, plus 6 radical 2, and that's 36 radical 2. All, all I'm doing here, right, and this is the answer is 4, all I'm doing is uh, rewriting 50, so we have the perfect square 25, take the square root of that factor, and there are no perfect squares left to take the square root of. Again, we're left with the number 2, which is prime and can't be broken down. So in all of these problems, look at the number under the square root, find factors, find all the factors, excuse me, that are perfect squares, and take the square root of those factors to break the numbers down. Thanks.